Okay, there's a buffalo in the road, just driving down the road. Hi, buffalo. How you What's doing, up, buddy? Hi. Uh, that's cool. And uh, that's the traffic behind him. <laughs> you don't see Good morning. Good morning, sunshine. Look at this. Sean's all packed up. We had eggs, bacon, and toast this morning, a la Sean. He did a great job. Neil's back there brushing his teeth. He's all packed up. Look at that. Got the bike all ready to go. So once again, we're stuck in between. Not stuck, but we um, we were in, trying for free camping yesterday. Uh, we didn't get the free camping uh, in between Yellowstone and Grand Tetons. And there's only one highway in between Yellowstone and the Grand Tetons. So if you go to Teton National Park, if you plan on going to Yellowstone and going north, you're gonna end up stuck. So what we did was we came to the park. Uh, th there, was a, there was a road that was closed due to bear mitigation and snow. Um, so we did, uh, we, we came back to this little um, there's a little resort. You can get a room in a hotel. They have a, a bar. They have a restaurant, a gift shop, a little grocery store. It's all real expensive, of course. Um, and then we, we decided to camp out here because we couldn't get to the free campsite. So we, we met Neil over there, who's biking across America from Virginia to Oregon. Okay? So good old Neil, uh, he... Uh, we said, let's split a campsite, because campsites are six, are for six people. Um, let's split a campsite, so we did, and it was $40 for the campsite. So it ended up being 20 apiece, which is a lot better than 40, of course. Um, so yeah, so I had a couple oat sodas last night. They have really nice bathrooms here, um, really nice showers, uh, good hot water to clean your clean your dishes up with after you eat breakfast or dinner however you want to do it um so yeah so you can you can resupply here if you want to um but we're going to push on through yellowstone today camp on the other side of yellowstone somewhere uh go see old faithful and it will be old and faithful uh just like me who knew anyway um Met a bunch of people last night, had a couple oat sodas, and uh, came back and crashed in my tent next to the truck. So, I mean, the truck is, is wonderful and everything, but, I mean, it's always good to sleep in some place by yourself um, when you're out here. It, it was really cold this morning, so we packed things up. Sean's getting ready, packing up the last little stuff. We're going to filter some water and haul, head on out to uh, Yellowstone. So we'll see you down the road. Right there on my elbow. Um, Sean has an elbow issues. Oh, come on. Okay, so you're not gonna. He's a poor little, guy. I feel bad I'm old, for him. I'm almost fifty. Not as old as this dude. But. I'm. Yeah, man, that ain't nice, man. <laughs> um, so we're we're in Yellowstone National Park. It's really beautiful. Um, but this is what I want you to see. There's the road. You see all the white stuff on the side? That's snow still. Yeah, snow still. It's ridiculous. Who wants that? Oh, oh, oh it's painful. Okay, you're not gonna believe this, but I'm actually hiking the CDT right now. So, moose, night crawler, tall boy, CDT, right here. Yeah, that's me. I'm, a, I'm BA like that. <laughs> All right, so we just arrived at uh, the Grand Can't, no, Yellowstone's, uh, well, Old Faithful. Okay, we're at Old Faithful. See the truck? Look at this. That's the very first parking spot, if you're not handicapped, that you can get to go to Old Faithful. There it is. We're parked in it. Rock stars, baby. What? Look at that. There it is, Old Faithful. That is amazing, isn't it, guys? It's old. It's faithful. He's just shooting steaming hot water up into the sky. Look at that. That is amazing. Isn't that good? That is so cool, isn't it? Here we go. It's old. It's faithful. That's good. If you miss it, you miss it. 
All right, we're headed to the lodge to get a cup of coffee. And it's neat because when you're uh, when you're watching Old Faithful, everybody's really quiet. And then it's like after a concert, you know, and it's quiet, and then everybody starts talking and leaving. So, so the good thing is there's not a lot of people here, so it's really, you know, it's really nice. And it's an experience I'll never forget. Thanks, Sean. You're the best. Look at that chimney there with the... It's all made out of logs. Oh wow, that's nice. That's cool. We're in the visitor center at, um, we're at the visitor center at uh, Yellowstone. This is the Old Faithful Visitor Center. Um, very, very informative. Um, Bobby, you have socks and they're trees. <laughs> uh, so that is a, a groundhog thing guy. He's on, just hanging out. We've seen a bunch of these here recently. Um, but this is a really, really nice center. Uh, very informative, you know, way to learn about, uh, way to learn about the caldera that we are actually in. And the fact that it's actually the top of a, top of a volcano. We're literally sitting on top of a volcano. It's really cool, really scary, really scary. Um, so another 10, 10, 17, Old Faithful erupts. And it's neat because they have a guy that comes out here every hour and says, cook, click. Yeah. <laughs> so we're at the, where are we? Old Faithful Lodge? Grand Lodge. The Grand Lodge. Um, check this out. This whole place is built out of wood. It's so awesome. Um, the Old Faithful Inn, that's it. That's where we are. Look at, there's a pendulum clock way up there look at that thing everything's out of wood that guy's out of wood yeah oh look at that that's a haircut that's awesome that's the way to do it this place is so amazing they have tours of the hotel and there's the tour guide touring she's pretty cool um anyway yeah it's beautiful here's the here's sean's coffee it's a latte look at that isn't that pretty and there's the barista that made it alex say hi hi uh, so Alex comes from Michigan. She's a professional barista, a professional traveling barista. So when you get to Yellowstone, ask for Alex, and she'll give you um, she'll give you a discount if available. So, and this place is awesome. Here's a little bit more of this amazing structure. It was built in 1902 to 1903, and the original architect made this crow's nest up here for viewing. Um, and it's really, really awesome. Hi, good morning. Good morning. And uh, so that you can't go up on the crow's nest because uh, there was an earthquake with a Richter scale of uh, 7.5, and uh, it measured 7.5, and that means that it twisted. And so some of the beams way up there are, uh, are twisted, so you can't get up there, which is sad, but at the same time, uh, you still get to enjoy this beautiful, beautiful piece of architecture. Made it entirely out of wood. Well, except for the chimney and that clock. There it is, Old Faithful. Hey, I met this wonderful couple. Uh, I interrupted them spooning. This is uh, Elaine, Elaine and, Jim. and Jim. And uh, Elaine and Jim, they're traveling around the Midwest. They're snowbirds and they've got an RV somewhere parked. And they're out here enjoying uh, the glacier. And of course, here comes Sean, he's late. <laughs> late to the party, as usual. Okay, so there's Sean. Look at this. That is gorgeous, isn't it? So I'll, get, I'll get some pictures of it too. But, uh-oh, uh uh-oh, look, 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 look. Oh, uh, look, hot tub. So yeah, we came walking down this path and uh, there's, Geysers all over the place. Of course, we're on a caldera. Okay. Thanks. Oh, it's awesome. It's beautiful. So we're in. This is Shield Spring, and uh, like I'm standing here, and the steam from it is hitting me, and it's wet steam. It's awesome. Look, buffalo poop. That's what it is. So, in case any of you need to uh, identify, there you go. Oop, let me get it in the sun. There you go. Buffalo poop. Um, upper geyser basin. Yeah, baby. Yeah, check it out. Look, so you walk up. 
Because the picture is not going to do this justice. That did that just for me, which is a total lie. How cool is that? Isn't that awesome? Amazing. 203 degrees there. 203 degrees. You could cook. Uh, Poach an egg in there. Poach an egg, yeah, yeah. Check it out. So here we are, and look behind me. There's geysers everywhere, and they're just feeding into this. And it smells like sulfur over here. It's just so beautiful, though. Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that just pretty? Oh my gosh. Yeah, really beautiful. So I'm not touching any of that water because it's boiling hot, full of sulfur. Look at this place. Oh. All this water, all this, all this coming out of the ground. You know, maybe the volcano will blow up today. Who knows? It'd be awesome. We wouldn't have time to think about it, but it would be cool. All right, so everybody here is waiting on this geyser. It goes up in another half an hour. So they're all going to sit here for half an hour, and they're going to look at, uh, at a geyser. And uh, look, it's, it's just, it's, that's a geyser. It's going to go off. And actually, Old Faithful just went off like a couple minutes ago. It's cool. So, anyway, all right, there's a, there you have it. People waiting and hot water and sulfur. Check it out. There's Old Faithful off in the distance going off. It's awesome. Hey, little bitty baby. Yeah. Smells sulfur. Pretty bad. Old tardy. You know. Okay, so we're still walking on this geyser loop, uh, and there's the, the hotel, isn't it big? It's uh, that resort, that lodge, is all out of wood. There's Liberty Pool right here, obviously, and uh, just, uh, just it's, it's, this is an amazing part of the country, and it's well worth a visit if you guys ever get to come out here. Here we are coming up on Solitary Geyser. I think this is Solitary Geyser. Yeah, Solitary Geyser. And here it is, the geyser itself. Uh, don't want to get near it too much because in 1915 we did not understand geysers very well. And now they do. It erupts four feet every five to seven minutes. So we're going to see an eruption in four to seven minutes. Look at that. That's not a fire. That's a geyser. So, believe it or not, we just missed it because it's really quick. He goes blub blub blub, and then it stops. So that's okay. what you get. Oh! Oh, that's awesome! Giant earth farts. <laughs> Does that mean we're going to smell like earth farts all day this, since we're sit here, sitting here? I'm glad I'm not that way. I'm sitting over here instead of kind of downwind of it. Woof. Check it out. There's a geyser down there, geysering. What do they call it? Something, right? And then there's Old Faithful to our left. You know it's not going to erupt anytime soon because there are no people gawking. And I wonder if Old Faithful gets nervous, you know, like... Am I going to be able to perform? There's a lot of people watching. Is it going to work this time? I wonder if it gets nervous. <laughs> okay, just so you know, we're out here. We've been here for a while. We walked around. We saw a bunch of stuff. Um, and uh, it's been really, really awesome. Hey, how you doing? You having a good day? Good. Awesome, awesome. And uh, we go to the parking lot. And we're like, oh, no. Where did we park? Oh, my gosh. Well, thankfully, Sean... Brought the bought the brightest yellow truck on the planet ever. So I know. Oh, oh, Naga, there it is. Oh man. Um. Anyway, he bought the most bright truck. You can spot it from here. It's like finding Waldo. But look, that parking lot that was empty earlier, it ain't empty no more, baby. Woo! All right. So there you have it. Those are Tatankas, i.e. Buffalo. There's a one, a two, these two over here. There's one that's just 
hanging out, sleeping. Pretty cool. Check this out. So we're, we're driving, and there's the buffalo herd back there, right? And they were all moving. And these are the people that are in the traffic jam. Now, we've been driving for a while past those buffalo. And these guys are still, like, it, the traffic jam is that bad going the other way. Isn't that crazy? Oh, it's awesome. Oh, hey now, Jingy. What's going on? So this is a park ranger, I'm going to guess, in, behind, in front of us. Um, he, every other person is stopping him to um, ask him a question on, is, uh, is there traffic down here? Why is there traffic jam? What's going on? And we've heard him. So it's, you know, we know what's going on. But people, dude, you got to expect this, man. So yeah, this guy, he's, every so often he's got to stop. Because somebody's asking him a question, they flag him down. It's funny. And we're still, this is still that original traffic jam that's going on from way back there, which is great. Here we are at Gibbon Falls. Uh, lots of gibbons. Uh, gibbon is a type of monkey, I do believe. Um, anyway, lots of gibbon falls. Uh, here they are. There they are falling. So we're going to go, there's a vantage point. There's a gibbon right there. He's doing something illegal, which is cool. It's always good to do some illegal stuff. Uh, and so we're going to go check out the falls. Woo. Check it out. Gibbon Falls. They're falling. That's a lot of water. And then you go like this. How gorgeous is that, huh? Oh. God, we live in a great country. There's a waterfall. This is the lower Niagara Falls, not the upper. Lower Falls. It's awesome. All right, check this out. We're going downhill. Uh, there's the observation point way down there. We're uh, and there's the falls. It's really beautiful. Oh, that's gorgeous. But yeah, it's switchbacks all the way down. This guy made it. You got dinosaurs on your shirt. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, let's. There we go. That was all switchbacks back there. It was awesome. Had a good time coming down, just trekking down the hill. Uh, and the falls are right behind me. So let me spin around here nice and slow so you can see them. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? 900 feet. So I'm waiting on Sean. He can come out. Let me get some pictures. Check this out. Oh, what, what? Oh, look. Oh, look. There's another waterfall way up there. Okay, so here's the deal. This waterfall, this one right here, happens because there are two different kinds of rock, okay? The fall is actually digging into the earth and this is easily eroded down here. But up there, it's a harder rock, so on, harder on the Mohs scale. So it, where that shift is from the two kinds of rock, that's what causes this waterfall. So it's 903 feet, right? 903 feet. And you can see the darker areas, that's actually where it will still erode um, until it hits this lighter, lighter colored stuff and then it stops the erosion process. Check out this canyon. Isn't that awesome? There's the river. Way down there. Yeah. And there's people looking, filming, doing their thing. It's always cool. There's the big Sean. Oh yeah, baby. Okay, so we were down there. It's just down. 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 Of course, there's the observation deck. Grand Canyon of the uh, of Yellowstone. This is the Grand Canyon. Really beautiful. It is grand, to say the least. Yeah, it is beautiful. Okay, there's a buffalo in the road, just driving down the road. Hi, buffalo. How you What's doing, buddy? Hi. Uh, that's cool. And uh, that's the traffic behind him. <laughs> you don't see How beautiful is this? All right. You really can't tell. I don't know. No, no. I keep saying this. Look, there's Sean's cooking. Um, so we've got, we've got you know, little turnouts and everything. There's mountains everywhere. And the mountains are just huge. We're already six, 7,000 feet up in the air. And it's just, 
every curve is another mountain range. Something else is snow capped. Just beautiful. close. All right, that over there is, that, that's Mammoth, uh, Mammoth, uh, Mammoth Hot, Hot Springs. Springs, Mammoth Hot Springs. Travertine, it's building, it's growing, it's changing, and it's constant. There's a lower and an upper terrace. We're going to see both, uh, but we go left and we'll go check it out, hang out, and see what's going down, and then we'll go heading up north, going to Montana. What was this thing? All these little pools. Look, little birds in there eating, drinking some water, getting a little sulfur, I guess, or travertine. This is amazing. So only 10% of the water is above ground. That's awesome, huh? You already been up? Little birdie. <laughs> awesome. Okay, just so you know, I've done it before. Right behind me, Mount Everett's. You gotta love it. Okay, so we're driving down the road. Here's a dude, half naked dude. Good job, man. Way to go. Look, this is just hanging out in downtown Yellowstone. Yellowstone. Mammoth. Montana, baby. Sean and I made it to Montana. Crossed over the 45th parallel. And we're headed to a campsite that's about uh, 12 minutes away. And uh, we'll be enjoying a nice leisurely evening. Trying to catch up on some video editing and uh, writing a little bit of, you know, all that stuff that we're falling behind on because we meet people and start talking. And the next thing you know, Sean's taking us out for uh, nachos. That's what the guy called them last night. Nachos. Yeah, Neil, I'm talking about you. Ranchers and, and stuff like that, right? Um, it's it's not part of the Forest Service. It's different. Forest Service is more of uh, preserving the forest. Okay, so we're going to the Carbella, Carbella Fishing Access site. It's the Bureau of Land Management. <clears throat> we're having a great time doing it. Uh, we went on the other side of the river and of course the river, uh, yeah, well, a river runs through it. So we came back. Um, we're gonna go all the way around and those over there is where we're gonna go. We're gonna go this way first. Uh, Sean is driving like he knows what he's doing, which he does. Thank God I'm here with that one. Uh, and uh, we're gonna, because I would have had screwed this all, up, all, all together. Um, yeah, I'm glad Sean's driving. Anyway. We're gonna set up camp. I'll uh, give you a quick shot of camp and see what we got tonight. Okay, so check this out. This is Sean's fajitas. Yep, that's the way we roll around this camp. There's a tent. It's all set up. Um, you know, uh, kitchen. Tent is all set up for Sean. Uh, met a cool cat. He he was uh, he's traveling south. And uh, yeah, we've got this great little campsite next to the river. The river is really flowing. Lots of moose poop, uh, but that's cool. If we get to see a moose, I'm in. I'm, I'm down with it. I'm walking down to the Yellowstone River, and it is flying by. It's over the banks, you know. Uh, not over the banks, but it's, you know, it's full. Um, there's a lot of, uh, the snow is melting off the top of the mountain, and it is just cooking by. And... Yeah, can you see it moving? It's moving really, really fast. So yeah, that was our campsite. 
near off in the distance is some gorgeous mountain full of snow. Um, yeah, all across the river is a, a ranch. Moon's up over there. You can't see it, but I can. It's really pretty. And uh, yeah, it's really, really booking by here. There's a bunch of moose or elk poop around. Um, I'm hoping for moose, but I'm guessing elk. Elk are everywhere out here. And the river is just going to town. Going to town. So we're going to go pack it in for the night. It's like 9 o'clock. Uh, I'm going to edit this video so I can upload it tomorrow whenever we get into a town. And you guys, uh, we, you guys have a wonderful evening. You wouldn't believe. So there's an empty plate. Sean's little work kid, he did his uh, blog. And there is his wonderful new Belgian passion fruit Kolsch. He's been sipping on and enjoying this fine evening by the river. Of course, tense up. I set that one up by myself tonight. Cause I'm that cool. Um, there's elk up on them there hills. Uh, Shane's next door. My little old tent right there. I got coffee in the morning. Yeah, that's right. I'm eat, drinking coffee in bed. <laughs>